highlight my under eyes. Today we're going to do a step in my skincare routine. I actually mask every single night, either a sheet mask, clay, mud, charcoal, anything. I will do it. I love it. And today we are going to try out the Dr. Jar Shake Shot Mask. I'm going to go ahead and take my makeup off while I do that. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, and we'll be right back. Right, so my face is double cleansed. You want to make sure you start with a nice clean canvas before you do any masking. So if you're not familiar with Dr. Jar, Dr. Jar is a K-Beauty, a Korean skincare line, and they make some really fabulous products. I have a lot of Dr. Jar masks that I like and enjoy, but I have never yet tried these shake and shot. So if you see these little kind of adorable, creepy, let me know down below which one you think it is. Um, so I've got one of these masks. So these retail for about $18 on Sephora's website. I do see them at Marshalls and TJ Maxx a lot. And if you watch my Marshall haul video, I'll link it down below. I found one of these on clearance. So if you can see, I found this for $4.50. So I figured, yes, I'll finally grab it. All right, so let's see what this says. This says it is the Shaking Rubber Luminous Shot. These do come in different colors. I'm not sure how many there are. I think there's like four or six. So it says, shake a cocktail, give it a shot, illuminating cocktail mask. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open it up. So this little thing that looked like a straw, I think is a stir. And then we have the two parts that I think we get to mix together. So let's see. Mix step one, booster, and step two, liquid ampule in a cap. So let's get, probably doesn't matter if I do step one first, but I, it's step one, so I feel like I should do step one first. Right? One comes before two. I don't know, whatever. We're gonna do it. <laughs> All right. So I've got that open, so we're gonna get it in to this little cup. I guess it's like we're making a cocktail. I'm filming this at night, so maybe I'll have to go have a cocktail while this is sitting on my face. I think that sounds like a really good idea. If you're with me on this, if you're watching it, Comment down below what your favorite cocktail is. I'll see if there's any out there that I should give a try. All right, so we got step one. If you can tell, I'm not really sure. It's like this rubbery kind of viscous cream, I guess. And then step two is to shake it. Step two looks like it's a just a liquid in there so we're going to try to not get this everywhere because that would be bad yeah it's just a normal liquid okay so we got that in there it says cover the hole with your finger i'll put the lid on have you ever shaken something and you forgot to put the lid on i have all right so there's this little hole so i'm going to cover that and shake. Oh, it's like, at first it was really liquidy and now like nothing. So I guess it firmed together. I'm scared to let go. Um, I'm trying to read the next step. Shake well until it's fully combined. Using a spatula, apply a thin layer on the entire face within two to three minutes, except the area I'm out. Okay. I wonder what happens after two to three minutes. If it like turns into like Something that's too difficult to put on your face. Ooh, so it became like this kind of less creamy, sticks to your, almost like a blizzard. Anybody like Dairy Queen blizzards? And if you get a blizzard, they have to flip it upside down before they serve it to you or else you can get it for free. I really like Dairy Queen blizzards. But that's kind of what this reminded me of. Oh my goodness, this is hard to... Spread. It's kind of like yogurt. It smells just like a nice kind of facial product should, I guess. It doesn't have like a specific smell. <laughs> so when I'm doing normal face masks, 
I tend to put them on with my fingers. A lot of people have brush type applicators. Um, I don't use those a ton. However, I just received a couple more as a gift. So I'm gonna give them a try, see if maybe I just wasn't doing it right. I am definitely getting it all over my eyebrow, but it's okay. I don't think it's gonna like make it fall off or anything. There's a lot of this in this little container. But it seems to be going on nice and smooth. Oh my gosh, there's still so much left. I don't know if I should just keep slathering it on. But I feel like if you had two people in your household that wanted to try this mask, honestly, you probably could have gotten two applications with this. But it does say after two to three minutes, it's no good. So you couldn't like save it for the next day. But if you have like a mother-daughter duo or a sister, if you're able to get a husband or a significant other to do it, then I definitely think you could do this with two people, with one little jar, and then you can make your money go a little bit further. Okay, so I'm gonna call that good. Let's see, so it says, after 15 to 20 minutes, peel off the mask starting from the edge. So that will be fun, hopefully we'll make it peel. I'm going to wait for 15 minutes and then I will be right back. All right, so it has been 20 minutes. It said 15 to 20 minutes. And I, I wish like you could feel it, but obviously you can't. Did you guys make that like slime in elementary school with like glue? That's what it feels like because I'm touching it and it's soft, but obviously none of it's transferring onto my fingers. So the next step, it says to gently peel off the mask starting from the edge. So there are some peel masks out there that hurt but this one seems like it's gonna be nice much gentler on the skin than some of those peel off masks if you do one thing tonight youtube like peel off mask disaster fails or something like that you'll find them all right so this is coming off that's nice <laughs> Oh, it's getting everywhere. It does. It feels like that like slimy glue, like rubbery stuff. I mean, it does say it's a rubber voluminous mask or whatever we called it. What did we call it? Shaking rubber luminous shot. Definitely different than any shot I've ever done. All right. So there is all these just little, little guys, but I think it tells us, it says take a Wipe away any excess with a damp cotton pad. So I pulled this out. This is just a little sponge. I actually got it with a different mask and I keep it on hand. So let me get this wet. But you could obviously just use a cotton pad like it says too. So I just got that kind of wet and we're just going to wipe away all the extra that didn't peel. It says then just finish with a moisturizer. So I will definitely do that. Use immediately after mixing step one, step two. So they do not want you to waste any time after you shake it to get it on your face. So my face feels nice and smooth. I'm curious to see how it feels in the morning. If I feel like it's any more luminous or dewy or smooth than normal. So check down the description box. I'll let you know how I feel in the morning. If it was like meh and you know, maybe not worth $18 or like, hey, run out and buy this. Usually things like this, I honestly don't know if I'd pay full retail for a one-time mask. Maybe if you had a special occasion, um, a wedding or something like that, then maybe it would be worth it. However, if you can find some, the normal price at Marshalls or TJ Maxx looks like it's $5.99. If you can find any on clearance, that's even better, so. But thank you for hanging out with me in just this quick video. If you wanna see more skincare videos, give this video a thumbs up and write down in the comments what you'd like to see, because I'd love to do that for you guys. Bye.